What is a rushed account in Clash of Clans? What are the negatives of this? And most importantly, what are the step-by-step -step processes that I can take in order to fix my rushed account? These are questions I get asked all of the time. So I wanted to bring you a video telling you everything you need to know. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. So this is what my base looked like not too long ago when I started a How To Fix A Rushed Base series. Now I discontinued the series but I have gone ahead and fixed my base in the background. I often get asked how to do this so I thought I would bring you a video teaching you everything you need to know because I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. So if that's the type of content you want to see I would recommend subscribing and also turning on the notification bell. Remember, you can help to support your favorite content creator in-game before making any purchases. My code is JUDO, and it is much appreciated, my friends. Now, there is a lot of research and planning gone into this video to make sure to teach you everything. So I've split it up into video chapters in case you wish to skip ahead to a certain area, or if you come back to the video, it's easy to refresh a particular section. So before we discuss how to fix a rushed base, it's important you know what a rushed base is and the negatives of it because if you are rushing you need to stop right now and fix your base before you go any further. Rushing is the process of upgrading your town hall potentially numerous levels without appropriately upgrading your base around it. Some people might purposely rush their account there used to be other reasons but right now the main reason would be to get to town hall 12 as quickly as possible to unlock and donate siege machines to your clan. Now it's important to let you know that despite the negatives I'm about to discuss, rushing really is not that big of a deal anymore. It used to be, it used to be very hard to fix an account, but there's a lot of steps you can take now which we will discuss in the video. There's a few negatives to rushing your account, whether it be more difficult war attacks, harder to retain your loot, but the main one is the loot penalty. Now the game does very briefly explain this to you when you upgrade your town hall level, but I have personally never read that note. I'm always too excited to see the buildings that I will unlock, but it does say upgrading will reduce your loot from opponents with Town Hall 12, that's the one below what I am going to, and below. This is because of the loot penalty. I would love to see a little icon that I could press and get more information on the loot penalty. But what it is, is a decrease in the amount of loot you will gain when you attack town halls lower. If you attack someone one town hall lower, you get a 20% penalty. Not that bad. But if you attack someone two levels lower, you get a 50% penalty. This is automatically calculated in before it displays how much loot you will gain. The matchmaking algorithm has changed over the years though and the game will now try and match you with a town hall level close to your own which means you don't have to really think about the loot penalty too much other players that are upgraded are more likely to find you though which means you have to be at the right league you have to do the right strategies there's a lot of changes which have helped rushed players whether it be from the shield economy changes but you should still try and fix it via the methods we're about to go over now there's a lot of general advice but initially there is some step-by-step -step processes that you should take first and foremost you should stop rushing your account so for example on my account i was a town hall 11 i had purposely rushed to town hall 11 for the series and i stopped there i made sure to fix my town hall 11 before i moved on up to town hall 12. this sounds like common sense but it means that everything is not escalated to a whole new level now this is different if you want to rush to town hall 12 in order to get siege machines not recommended but on rare occasions it can be of benefit it. I actually did a video on when you should upgrade your town hall level. Going into the specifics, I would reference that video if you need help with that. I will have that video and any other relevant ones I've done down in the description. But the next step you want to take is upgrading your farming troops. You should choose a farming strategy. I will be giving you my recommended strategies in a couple of minutes alongside the recommended league to farm in, but you should concentrate generally on offense, but mainly your farming troops. So within the lab, you want to choose a strategy and upgrade those troops appropriately. 
Reason for that is to fix your account, you need to farm and be active. So if your farming troops are more upgraded, you're more likely to be able to take the loot because that's something you need to be conscious of as well. As you are searching, the game is trying to match you with bases of the same level. If you are under leveled, your troops aren't as strong, you need to be conscious as to how much of the loot you can get and whether you should actually attack the base. Whilst we are on that subject, let's just give you the farming strategies and upgrades I recommend. Now, presumably, if you have rushed your account, you are probably a Town Hall 9 or above. If you are not a Town Hall 9, if you're a Town Hall 8 or below, it's not going to take you too long to fix your account. Just farm with Barch and do not upgrade to Town Hall 9 until you've maxed your Town Hall 8, pretty much. However, for Town Hall 9 and above, my recommendation would be the Baby Dragons. There's a few reasons for this. Number one, it is the best farming strategy. I did a video on the top five farming strategies and the baby dragons came out at number one. In terms of upgrades though, this is really good because it is a single troop. It's not like you are having to upgrade giants, barbarians, archers for the Jibarch. It is a single troop in that of the baby dragon. So you can solely concentrate on upgrading that single troop to make your farming strategy fantastic. The main downside to the baby dragons is that it can be a little bit more difficult to get dark elixir. So that is where the Lunian attack strategy comes in. Now, if you are severely rushed, you will probably be fine with the baby dragons to get dark elixir. But if you are struggling to constantly upgrade your king and queen, you need know from my previous video on how to upgrade your heroes fast that you do need to be centrally focused on the Dark Elixir. So if you are struggling to keep up with constantly having the King and Queen upgraded, my recommendation would be to upgrade the balloons and the minions in your lab after the baby dragons so that you can rotate to this specific Dark Elixir farming strategy to continuously upgrade your King and Queen because you do want to try and recover your hero levels as well. A quick Side note before we move on, if your base is a Town Hall 11 or above when you have rushed, you might choose to upgrade the Miners instead of the Lunion. Obviously for Town Hall 9 and 10, I would recommend the Lunion for your Dark Elixir farming strategy. But if you're a Town Hall 11 or above, the Miners offers the advantage that it is a single troop, just like we mentioned with the Baby Dragons. You will need heal spells with this, but also the Miners are very good for war attacks. You can send them straight into the base, get large amounts of Dark Elixir, or as many people mentioned in my comments section of the previous video, upgrading your heroes fast, you might actually choose to upgrade the Electro Dragons. Reason for that is they are an Elixir based troop like the Miners, and it is a single troop to upgrade which can be good for war. So you might want to choose one of those troops if you're a Town Hall 11 or above. That is for the farming army. And like I said, you want to concentrate more on offense initially rather than defense. This is actually a lot of the advice I gave in my upgrade guide for all Town Hall levels, which might also be appropriate for you. But once you have the farming troops upgraded, once you have a regular army and a Dark Elixir army, I would rotate to the spells. Upgrade the Rage and the Heal spell would be my recommendation. Because you will use those spells forevermore across a variety of attacks. Once you have done this, I would focus on a single war attack, whether that be the Miners or the E-Drags, something for your relevant Town Hall level, pick a single strategy first, upgrade everything you need for that strategy to the max for your Town Hall level, then you have a farming strategy, a war attack to default to before you start branching into other upgrades. Just as I was about to move on, I feel I will get the question, which strategy should I pick? I do have playlists on my YouTube homepage where you can go ahead and select your town hall level. You might have a quick glance through and choose a strategy that suits you, but I would advise choosing one that doesn't have many upgrades and or that could be your farming strategy. That's why I mentioned the miners or the e-drags. I do actually plan on bringing you a video similar to my a tip for every town hall level 
level, but with a strategy for every town hall level. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that one. Continuing on the general advice of focusing on offense rather than defense, we've mentioned the lab. We've mentioned how important it is to keep your heroes on constant upgrade. We touched on the spell factory, but the other buildings you want to focus on are number one, the clan castle. This is because it is fantastic on both offense and defense in order to help you gain donations from your clan. So definitely that needs to be a priority. The army camps, if you have rushed and you don't have your army camps to the maximum level, do so. You will be able to take more troops into battle and this is for every battle. If you can upgrade something that impacts everything, then you should do so. So the army camps are a huge one as well. The barracks is a tricky one because it is a priority, but you want to upgrade it to the point where you have unlocked the troops for your chosen strategies, the farming and the war attack we mentioned. Once you have done this, you upgrade all of the barracks to this level. The reason for that is it will allow you to cook the troops faster in order to farm more often and gain more loot. After this, the barracks becomes a little bit less of a priority. If you're just unlocking troops for the sake of it, you could probably better spend your elixir somewhere else prior to then focusing on upgrading the barracks. Where else would that be, do you ask? This is where the step-by-step -step process continues. We mentioned stopping your town hall upgrades so you can start to fix things, looking at a farming and war strategy, as well as your other offensive upgrades. Now we move to the resource buildings. Elixir collectors, gold mines, and dark elixir drills. You want to upgrade these to the maximum level for your town hall level because you are gaining more loot all of the time without even doing anything. This goes for the storages as well. Try and upgrade them as a priority to the maximum level. Now the different processes can be overlapped because you have numerous builders. So you might start upgrading some of the offensive buildings whilst you're getting a couple of collectors going as well. But by making sure that your storages are maxed alongside your collectors, you are less likely to cap out when you're farming. But also, as I discussed with you in my All Magic Items Explained video, you are then getting the best value out of any runes that you use. There is one more initial phase that you need to do in order to recover your your rushed account, which I've came to my Town Hall 9 to demonstrate to you. After this, it is general advice for you moving forward because this is not something that will happen overnight as well. You have to be realistic in how long it will take you to fix your rushed account based on how rushed you are. However, the next important step, after you've stopped rushing, focused on offense, focused on resource buildings, remember a lot of these phases can be overlapped, but it is to upgrade your base evenly. Pretend you are a Town Hall 7 still, and you are upgrading your base to the max of Town Hall 7, then moving to 8. The reason for that is the defenses are cheaper and quicker, and yet you get the same value, sometimes even better. So on my Town Hall 9, my cannon is maxed, but you still get the idea. If I were upgrading a level 11 to 12 cannon, it is 3 million gold, it takes two days and I get 13 extra damage per second. Comparing this to my Town Hall 12 account though, a level 15 cannon upgrading to level 16 is 8.5 million and this is with some perks from the gold pass, taking over seven days and yet I only get an extra six damage per second. This is why you focus on the cheap and quick upgrades first. It is not a case of plowing all of your loot into a strong defense, hoping it will hold your base together. It is about trying to upgrade your base evenly. It gives you the best efficiency time-wise and loot-wise, and it means that your base is so much stronger to defend and protect your loot. The caveat to that, which is a little pro tip I was going to give you at the end, but it makes sense to discuss it now, is to upgrade your Tesla and your traps. The reason for this is you're trying to trick your opponents. If they see a rushed base in war or multiplayer, they might underestimate it. Whereas if your traps and Tesla are well upgraded, you might be able to fend them off. So trying to make your opponent underestimate you is one little strategy you might consider. 
Now, I appreciate I haven't gone over the best league to farm in or defensive layouts yet. I will get to that. Often, there's a few different ways I could piece the video together. I try and make it flow as best as possible. But that's why we have video chapters as well. But I do want to give you a couple of tips and be real with you for a few seconds. If your base is severely rushed, it is going to take a little bit of time in order to recover. Do not get frustrated and be patient. It's very easy if you're attacking higher upgraded bases to get yourself frustrated. Don't worry about it. Just farm, follow the steps that I have given you and the tips I'm about to give you in order to upgrade your base as effectively and efficiently as possible. It will take a little bit of time. You've got to be patient with it and you've got to be active. You've got to be farming. You've got to be involved with as many things as possible. That includes clan wars, clan war leagues, clan games, season challenges, the events, anything you can do to get your hands on more loot and more magic items you need to be doing if you do want to upgrade your base as fast as possible. But it's not that you couldn't recover a rushed base without some of that stuff it would obviously just take you a bit longer. Also, if you want to recover your account as fast as possible, it's all about the builders. So if you are a free to play player, you need to save any of the gems you get to unlock the five builders. Once you have done that, the training portion within the daily deals is probably your best value in order to make sure that you can farm more often. But another pro tip is to rush the builder base. Why exactly is that? I did a video on how to unlock the sixth builder in Clash of Clans and do that as effectively as possible. By rushing your builder base, you're not at any disadvantage. There's no matchmaking in the builder base. You just want to rush to build a hall nine and upgrade the buildings that are required in order to unlock Autobot. Once you have that, you can send the master builder to the regular base in order to give yourself a sixth builder. That means you can recover your rushed account even faster. As we mentioned, you need to be active in the season challenges, but for those of you that are going to be putting any money into the game, the gold pass is your best value because not only do you get perks such as discounts on your upgrades, you also get a ton of extra items, which will obviously help you to upgrade faster. Before we move to the best farming leagues, just whilst we're on the subject of activity, you also need to find an active clan, one that can donate to you for offense and defense, help with clan games, but also to keep you motivated. Maybe this is a clan you set up for rushed players and you all take this journey together. That's an idea I literally just had. My next video is actually going to be on how to build and run a successful clan, recruit to your clan. It's something I get asked a lot. So if you have any tips, let me know in the comments or likewise, you can always come and have a chat with me on my live streams on Twitch. The link for that is in the description. Where exactly should you farm with a rushed account then? I did a video recently on the best league to farm for all town hall levels, but if you watch that, just know that this is different. You are a rushed account, so you need to be conscious as to how high up the trophy leagues you push. The higher up you go, the more likelihood you will find stronger bases, so it's harder to gain the loot, but also stronger players will find you, making it harder to retain loot. So my recommendation for pretty much all players is gold one. Even if you are a Town Hall 11 or 12, you are still going to find Town Hall 11 and 12 players in that region with a ton of loot. If Dark Elixir is being a little bit of an issue though, you're not quite able to keep your King and Queen upgraded, push into the low crystal leagues. For a rushed base, crystal is more than sufficient, right of the way up through the town hall levels. If you're a town hall nine and 10, you might decide to stick more with the gold league. Anything lower than that, like I said, you're going to fix your rushed account pretty quickly, just farm wherever. As your base is getting stronger and more upgraded, you might decide to start slowly pushing up through the levels, depending on your ability. You might decide to do this temporarily, have a bit of a trophy push, see how far you can get. You can still get loot in the higher leagues, it just might not be as efficient as farming in the lower leagues. But depending on the severity of your rush, depends on how long it will take you, and you need to keep yourself motivated throughout that time. So some people will vary up how they play the game in order to help with that. 
that. The final part that you need to be aware of to fix your rushed account is your base layout. You are farming to try and gain as much loot as possible. You also need to protect that loot. So first and foremost, take advantage of the treasury. There's only a few ways that loot is inputted to the treasury, but if you don't necessarily need the loot to upgrade something, leave it in the treasury because only 3% of loot is going to be stolen from the treasury. The loot's best protected in there, but make sure you do collect it so that you don't cap out if you were to gain more loot into the treasury. However, the base layout is also very important. You need a layout that well protects your resources. Now, in my previous video where I went over how to upgrade your heroes fast, I gave you base links courtesy of the Clash Champs website. You can always check that out or the base links I will copy into the description of this video as well for Town Hall 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You have a base that well protects your Dark Elixir and resources. If you do want to see the video where I taught you how to upgrade your heroes fast i'll link it on the screen alongside the subscribe button but i hope this one has been helpful for you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next video